Hello, my name is Eduardo. Um, today I am here with another tutorial for App Inventor. Okay, and today we are going to talk about how to use uh, for each, for each the blocks for each. Um, well, we have these blocks in here in Control where you have built-in blocks Control. Then you go for each, and then you have another one that is quite similar that is for each item in list okay if we check here the definition we have this uh, for this block that is run the block in the do section for each numeric value so you will have some blocks in here in this do section okay um, um from start to end okay it is based on a range this range from one to five okay it will run these blocks like five times okay it depending on the number that we use and for example here I have just write it to increase uh, this uh, range by one okay so well uh, now here we have a variable that it will be like the current number where it, the loop will be okay so one two three four five okay so well uh, let's start for this I just add here um, text box and also a button and also a label for our project really simple then I just modify here in the screen to portrait and then just check scrollable here just to be able to scroll the screen if we have a lot of information now we're going to create the procedure because we're going to use this procedure inside our button just to trigger what we are doing today okay so this is for the button and that's it now the first thing let's check with some examples so let's use the result table uh, label text and we're going to set it to this number okay this if we press we see just the number five because that is the final result it will go for one two three four five really fast okay so and if we change the destination to 12 we will get 12 over there okay so not big thing so now what if we now start adding something extra so what if we add well first in the label let's clean the label so the text and we're going to clean it every time we press the button okay so now we clean it and then we're going to join we're going to join here the text from this label text and we're going to join the current text with a new value in this case the new variable okay that is going for the loop so now let's see what happened so now if you check we go from 1 to 12 and it is like 1 keep this value then I can go for 2 keep this value with the previous value 3 4 5 6 7 11 12 okay so now that it's happening right now so now let's make it more interesting what if we insert in this thing uh in between these ones we are going to insert a break so to do that we're gonna go here and uh, but I use this because um I don't know the symbols for this here end and then we just enter we just close this thing and now check if we press in here now we have here the label okay the value that is in the label and then we go for a uh, space and then the current variable and then with the new thing it's adding this thing it's printing this result okay very interesting now what if we use this with a multiplication table so if we have one times a number that someone is writing in here for example if I write 5 or 6 what if I write 6 and I press 6 to add it in here well it is just um, let's add some more spaces in here so before that break so what if we add another text for the symbol space x space then if we press we have this thing okay but this is not what we want we don't want to have this empty thing so in that case to fix this we are going to add a new one 
and we are going to insert here our number so now let's check what happens and that's it okay we are almost having this thing so now we need to fix some things of course okay so we are going to remove this guy and now we have um, here check one times okay in this case with a number then you have this space so instead of the space we want to have a number for example the number from this text box okay so we go here to text box then we just go for the text and we just insert this thing let's see what happens that's it it looks much better so one times six two times six three times six six times uh, four times six and that's it so continuing on till 12 what if we change this to two or three so we just have it going for by three and three and three so we have three um uh, three six um in this case four seven ten and we cannot go more because you know we over over past 12 okay now uh let's go again for one and now we just have to change how to calculate this number times this number well we need to add an extra space for the symbol of equal so let's just use this and one for the operation so first the symbol space equal oh sorry space and then we are going to add the result the result it will be like this operation and it will take this value duplicate times the current text box that we duplicate and if we check press we have this thing okay so that's pretty useful then finally what if we want to add uh, if we want to add another loop just to have the table if this is six going from one to six okay well in this case ah and there's another thing also if we want to change the order for example you want to start with uh, from the bigger number to the smaller number well we just change the order so in this case we go from 12 to 1 by minus 1 so we do it and then you check we have from 12 to 1 okay and it's doing the operations yes so now let's reset this thing again from 1 to 12 I'm going from one okay by one now let's insert another loop here and check we're going to insert this loop inside of this one okay now the text box that we have here it's the value that we want to start doing and uh, going from this table from the table of one to the table of six for example in this case so now we need to remove this thing okay and now here we have another variable let's call it number two to avoid confusions and this variable of number two it will be like in here okay just with this little thing okay what is going to happen it will go from the table of one to the table of six in this case okay and it will print all of them here from one okay to uh, the last one but check the result the result is not okay because we have this value so we just need to modify number one times number two okay so the count um, number or the loop counter and that's it we have the table from the table of one to the table of six and we can go for something bigger what if we want to add to the table of 50 so it will take some time we wait a little bit because it is like trying to calculate everything at once okay and that's it 
check we have four five six seven eight that's why i just set the screen to scroll above 12 13 15 okay and it has until 50 the table of 50 okay and we go 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 okay so what do you think really interesting right so this kind of for each it is very useful when you are like handling kind of loops of these numbers okay so well i am just showing you one way to use these blocks okay so uh well just check the blocks analyze the blocks and that's it now let's go with another for each item for each item is using a list okay it's going it's going over a list so now if we go here okay now um we're going to do something extra here we're going to drag some check boxes i'm going to add four five check boxes let's order there them so i have five check boxes i want to modify all of them at the same time well so that's why we're gonna use this block the first thing that you need to do it's create a component for this list of components okay so you can call it list of check boxes and we're going to set it to an empty list and then when we start uh, when we start the app when we load the screen we are going to add these components to the list so in this case we have five two three four five and then we go to the component to the checkboxes and then we just drag the last the last block so now the list is list of checkboxes and we're going to copy control c b b b b b control b control b control b Yes, I had enough and just change the name. Two, three, four, and five. And now we have this thing working. Now we need to refresh the screen just to load this list. And that's it. We have the list. Now, what if I want to change the name of all of them? Well, uh, let's do it and let's create another procedure. So procedure 2 and let's remove the procedure here and let's add the procedure 2 to the bottom so what I want to do now it's going over my list that is this list the check boxes or so all of these elements in the check boxes using the for each item okay and I'm going to go to this part check in the last part you have something that it says any component just expand it and go to any checkbox then what if I want to set all of these checkboxes to true well so we're going to use this set checkbox check of component item you can rename this item the current checkbox that we are checking if that is a checkbox or you can write current current checkbox to and in this case to true okay so if we press this we set all of them at the same time and we are, can also add here in any component uh, any checkbox and we can change the text what if we want to change the text of the current checkbox to uh, let's say in this case to select and then we just press all of them have the same now uh, name we can make some things more uh, complicated okay so probably you have a bunch of names in another list okay in a list of names and you want to fill these things with these numbers or with these names okay so well yes it is possible for example if we create an empty list okay 
so let's say let's make a list when we initialize and uh, let's do it for a new variable that is names and uh, let's add it in here and I'm going to add a bunch of names three four five and then I just add some names like Juana that is like John but for girls in Spanish uh, Simon Stanley mm, Man Malcolm and finally Row Rock Rock now Rocco okay well we have a bunch of names over there and now we want to set this the uh, current component uh, we want to pick one name from the list okay so pick a random name from the list this and then we just press the button 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 ah we haven't loaded the list because we need to refresh okay don't forget this we refresh the screen so in that case we are going to make the we are going to load the new list okay that we just load the values remember when we initialize so we press and we have Stanley Rocco Juan and Rocco Simon that is repeating names because we are not removing the names okay but this is just to give you an idea so what if we want to fill all these uh, things with some questions for example you can write a list of questions here and then you just say here to take this now um, every time you pick one item you can remove it from the list so for example uh, let me check if this works or not remove item from this list and the one that we're going to remove it is the current one okay the current one it will be like just check this procedure we go to select uh, index in list thing what which, what is the index of this thing okay so which thing well uh, we need to check the current um, name of this text uh, of this thing okay so we need to go I guess here we go to checkbox and then we go for text text of component we go for the current one and put in the list in here maybe with that thing it's it's not going to uh, duplicate names and that's it okay so we are removing everything and of course we need to refresh the list again uh, just in case uh, every time we press again the button we're going to make again the list and we're going to refresh the list okay because if not if we're going to remove everything so but we insert it later then okay so well basically that is the idea using this thing okay so we are like uh, setting a bunch of uh, things and check there are not repetitions we have Juana, Rocco, Simon, Malcolm, Stoney and we can have more names okay so and uh, also what if we want to check just some of them okay so no not all of them well it is quite the same so if we check here in check so you want to check just the ones well you can use a condition okay so you can say uh, if okay for example in here we use this one and for the text no problem so we are going to set the condition why what is the condition well if uh, we check the index okay for example if we want one two three four five okay so if and uh, let's go here indexing thing uh, index let's in thing 
I guess it's like that. And we're gonna use here. Um, I guess it's this one. Let me check if it's working or not. I think it's at least think the current checkbox. Um, <clears throat> list. The list is global checkboxes. And this is equal to three. If this is equal to three, check the text checkbox and it's checking I'm checking all of them. Let me check. Maybe there is a mistake. Yeah, it's a mistake over here. Okay. Well I guess I need to check more on these things. Um let's set them to false and check now the number three if it's equal to three let's set it to false or the opposite if it's equal to three let's let's set all of them to false okay so well let's set this one all of them to false oh sorry so we can set all of them to false but well let's refresh the screen and in that case you can control individual elements in your list of uh, components or buttons or whatever for example here just the number three it will be set to true okay if we set that is one that is two and this is three okay it will be like check just this one okay or you can add other conditions for example if Juana okay if this thing it has Juana in the text box in the text of the checkbox well it will be just like check okay so well basically that is the idea so and also you can add another condition for example and 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 we just duplicate this one and we change the name for let's say just number one and number five it will be like affected in this case oh sorry yeah and that's it because that's or we have to use or and that's it okay so if it's three or if it's one please check them check them okay and also set the checkbox uh, pick a random item list from this list of things okay to fill it so you can have some options in here okay and that's it basically that is the idea about working with for each okay remember for each is to work with a bunch of things okay so it's like a loop in this case it is a loop that is going from this component and then for this for this for this for this in order okay from one to the last uh, item in the list and for example when you set here the name it is checking all of them okay so first it add uh, a, no, a name to this um, checkbox and then remove this using this thing uh, from the list and then it will go to the next item and pay a uh, pick around the item list okay again and then go over there okay so basically that is the idea about working with these things okay so um, I hope you understood this uh, tutorial, also the other example that I just showed you with for each, okay? So this is just a little bit about to understand uh, this thing. I use a lot this for each, okay? Uh, for buttons, when you have a bunch of buttons that they have to have the same uh, properties, also you can set them the properties like visible, okay? So if I want to disappear all of these checkboxes, okay? So let's say where is visible. You can check just the visible property, for example, in here. Okay, so let's say that I want to check and make them invisible. So, well, uh, just disable this one. Disable block. And then I just uh, want to make invisible the number three and the number one. But I just press this. And I just make them visible. Ah, sorry, invisible. 
and that's it okay or I made them visible and that's it that is the idea about working with this okay it is very useful so well I hope you like this video please share this video like this video okay if you found it useful okay my name is Eduardo and I will see you next time okay if you have any suggestions about the video uh, or tutorial or something okay please uh, give your comments okay leave your comments in the section below okay uh, and I will be really happy to help you so I will see you next time goodbye